All right, welcome back to another video by the Canadian Home Painter. Um, now, in today's video, I just want to show you how easy it is to get a nice freehand line on the top of this baseboard, where the top of the baseboard meets the drywall. Now, um, typically, there will be a little tiny gap. It's not going to be right tight to the drywall. So, um, just over time, those nails will, will give way a bit, and it creates this tiny little gap. So this is a very dark color that I'm using. Um, you can hold the brush whatever feels comfortable for you. Um, I'd put about that much paint on the end of the brush, and then I just start a little bit above the top of the baseboard, and I just stretch that out a bit, feathering that out a bit. And then what I'm gonna do is just bring it down uh, a little bit closer and a little bit more feathered out in the in the brush so that it creates a very narrow tip on this uh, sorry on this tapered part and then I should be able to just have that go just beyond the top of that baseboard until that white that's underneath is totally gone so this uh, will still take a little bit of practice to get good at, but you can see that that's really not that hard. All you want to make sure too is to feather that away from the top of the baseboard. You don't want any high points, uh, any, uh, any sections that have too much heavy paint that could run as it dries. Now this is just the first coat, so it's going to get a second coat and then uh, that'll just um, really finish that off nice and you won't see anything through that dark color so yeah this takes a little bit of practice but it's really not that hard to do so hopefully you found this helpful and give it a thumbs up if you did